Namaste and welcome to React Bits. Flutter had just announced the release of version 1.0 of integration test package. And this package helps with writing integration tests. All those difficulties with Flutter drivers are taken away and we can easily write integration tests using Wizard Tester using this package. So let us see how we can do that. For the demonstration of this code, I'm using my Flutter Firebase starter project, which you can find in GitHub. The link will be provided in the description below. Here I'll be writing tests for login. So in this test, we'll be able to log in using Firebase authentication, email and password. So in order to continue with this test, what you need to do, you need to download this project and add Google services .json file as described in this readme for dev will run in dev mode. So add for dev flavor. And then you need to create a test user with email and password in Firebase authentication. So let us get started with writing our test. Let us see the documentation. So what it tells us first, we need to add this in our dev dependencies. So let us add it in our dev dependencies. Pubspec.ml under dev dependencies. Let us add this integration tests and let us run flutter pop get. And then it tells us to create two files. One, Inside integration test, we create our test file and inside test driver, we create integration test dot dot. So let us create those files. First inside test driver, test driver slash integration test dot dot. This can be used to run all the tests. So here this is what we can do we can import the integration test driver and then in main function we just run integration driver function that's all we need to do here next now we need to write our tests and for that let us create more files integration tests Let's write our app test dot dot file. So in our app test dot dot file, let us first to easily start. Let's copy the code that they have given here. So let us copy this and let's paste it here. So we import flutter test and then we import integration test and we ensure initialized integration tests and then we run test widgets right so let us continue writing our test so instead of this test what we want to test is our login functionality so here let's write can login and let us start first we need to import so for running tests, I have created main underscore test dot dot file. This is because our main file has crashlytics and it was causing some error while running for test. So in main underscore test, I just remove the crashlytics. So let us import this. Parvis starter main underscore test dot dot as app and now inside test widget let us run our app dot main so let us run our application then await pump and tester dot pump and settle so that loading state is done and app is running so first we need to know that when this is done 
we find our main screen that is if we check auth home page the first screen that will be loaded will be welcome page and if we look at the welcome page so login page subtitle login page title so we have login page title this has welcome message right expect find dot by widget predicate and here what we can say that widget widget is a text widget and widget dot data equals welcome and this should exact find one widget so this should exactly find one widget so for this text we need to import material so let us import material right so now we can run this in order to run this from our terminal we can run plotter drive so you can see driver test driver integration test dot dot and target will be integration test slash app underscore test dot dot and for our application as it has flavors we need to also declare the flavor that we are running dev flavor now if i tap enter this should build the app it will take some time this will build the app open it in the available device and then run this test so let's wait so before if you look at the flutter driver tests from before integration tests from before we need to write all those driver related codes to get an up the driver tear down functions all those things right but with this package we don't have to do any of that so let's see cancel was called a null but we can see that our expectation was correct so here what we can do is let's continue let's add some more let's find login button that is available in our home page so find by widget predicate widget is raised button and child is text and widget dot child as text dot data equals login right and then we can tap on this button expect login finder should find find one widget then we can await tester dot tap login finder pump and settle so let's see we run the main function then we wait then we try to find our welcome widget and then we have a login finder that will find the login button and then we expect it to be found then we tap on that login button and we wait until the scheduled actions are completed so let us run again again this will do all those functions like setting up the driver tear down the driver after everything has completed so these kind of things are done automatically by this integration tests package but writing test is similar to before instead of using flutter driver we are instead using widget tester 
So let's see. Test is starting. We find, yeah, we are able to tap the login button as well. So let's see. Mm -hmm. And then let us, let me copy some other predicates that I have written. So I'll describe them one by one. So let me import this intro page. So here what I'm doing is I'm finding the email field that is by key. If you look at the login form. So if you look at the login form that our email key email field has a key also password field has a key and our login button also has a key. So in our login button also we are finding it by key. So we need to add this key in our login button. So let's add login button. So what we are doing here, we are finding the email field by key and then we are expecting. So again, we are tapping the email field and we are entering a test email and then we are finding the password field and then we are tapping it and we are entering a text that is test password and then we are waiting. Then we are finding the login button and then we are tapping the login button and we are waiting for 10 seconds. This is because Firebase authentication takes some time and when authentication is done, we should be redirected to intro page. So we are expecting to find the intro page. So let us run again. Clear. Let's test. So again, it will build, install and run the application. with provided test email and test password. Instead of this email and password, you use your own test email and password that you have added in the Firebase authentication. Otherwise, it will not work. So let's see. Taps the login, enters the email, enters the password, waits for 10 seconds. So we have the intro page. So this should find exactly one widget and all tests passed. So we can see that all our tests have passed. So I hope they are adding more extended functionalities to this integration test soon and we'll be able to use this to test our application and as this has become a lot more easier to write tests for our application, I might soon start writing more tests and I'll provide more tutorials on writing tests. You can find all of these final tests and details on this project. I'll share the link in the description. Make sure to check them out. Thank you everyone for watching this tutorial. See you again soon in the next episode.